Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create the highlights block. This block highlights research and creative scholarship with images and links. So the first thing we do is create the block. So I go to add content, select blocks, row blocks, and highlights. I'm going to name my block and I'm just using generic sort of research images and links. So research and in the heading field I need to give this a heading so I'm just gonna say um research and I can choose my heading level for that heading I'm gonna go with heading 2 h2 now the main link this is a link that will appear to the kind of far right of the block and I'm gonna link it to an external page and I'm going to say see more research and I just need to paste in the URL so right there and this target field I can choose either parent window or new window and I'm going to choose new window parent window will open it in the same window new window will open a new window so now I need to add my highlights. So I click on the first one, open that up, and I choose my image. I'll need to browse for that. So it's there, files, images, blocks, and research. That's my first one. So I select that, click choose. So I'll add my alt text. This is legally required text. We need to add this to every image on Cascade, it's just a description of the image. So this was an image of a scientist studying Petri dish. Okay, and for the link, I'm giving it an external link. If you want to give it an internal link, you will use this and navigate to a page on Cascade, but I'm doing an external link. so. I will paste in that URL here. And I'm just using a bit of dummy ipsum text. This will, a lorem ipsum text, this will uh, appear below the uh, image. And again, I can set the target. I'm gonna set it to new window. And there's our first highlight, so I can close that and I'm going to add another one. We need three so I'll open that up and I'll choose another image. I'll browse for that. It's this one here, research image one. And that's a scientist looking at a model. So the alt text will be scientist examining model. And I'm gonna use another external link here, which is right here. And I need to give it a label. I'm just gonna use some more lorem ipsum text. And I'll set it as a new window. So I need to add one more. I can minimize that and click the green plus icon to add one more highlight. And I just choose the image again. Research image two, and that is a honeybee on a comb. So I add my alt text. We'll call it a hive. And my link, again, I'll use an external link. I'll grab another one here. And I will grab some more text. Paste it into my label. And for my target, I'll do a new tab again. So there we go. I will close that down. And there's our three highlights. I select preview draft. And there they are. I will click submit, add any comments, and submit again. And there's our block, highlights-research. So all I need to do now is add it to our page. So I will open up the folder where I've got this page already created. It's called highlights. Select the page, click edit. 
I'll open up the full screen and I'll add it to this first row here. So I just need to give it a label if I want to. Uh, this label won't appear to your end users, but you can see it inside Cascade and that will help you navigate your pages. I just need to change content type to row block and select the block. There it is, highlights, research, click choose, preview draft. We'll just wait for this to render. And there it is, UM research. Here's our main link, see more research. And these are the images I added. And these are the labels and all the labels work as links. So I just click submit, submit my changes, add any comments I need to submit again. And we're done. Okay, thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.